Easter egg was added to Modern Warfare 2 with the new raid unlocking a new secret classified blueprint. Now, it's super easy to miss this Easter egg, so let me teach you exactly how to do it. There are three parts of this Easter egg, so let's show you how to do part one. Part one begins the moment you spawn into raid episode two, where once you've climbed up the yellow ladder and then traverse up these three steps, you'll then enter a tunnel where there's going to be a lot of AI. And for this, you need to go ahead and storm through killing all these AI as quickly as possible, because one of these AI is going to be running away from you. When you get to this section of the tunnels where you're going to have the steam section, this is where you're most likely going to find the AI that is running away. It will have slightly more health than the other AI, but it will look like a normal AI. But once you kill it, you'll notice on the ground, it will drop a key card, which is labeled key card A. Now, because this is a three player Easter egg, each player will be carrying their own key card. So once player one picks this up, they won't be able to pick up the others. And you also need to make sure that no one dies trying to do this Easter egg, because if you die at any point, you will lose the key card and you'll have to restart your game again. That's key card A. Let's now move on to the second key card, which will obviously be key card B. Key card B can be found just after you do the first steam and valve puzzle. So once you've all climbed up past that, you're going to be proning under here and then going through this tunnel. And here's where you need to be ready with quick reflexes in order to get key card B. Once you've made it through this tunnel and hop down, you want to try and keep to the left side of the stairs. And once you get through this passageway, look up to the right at this banister, where there's going to be two enemy AIs, but one further back is the one you want to focus on because that AI is going to be walking towards an open door. And if you don't kill it in time, the AI is going to walk through the door and you won't be able to get the key card from it. But if you've killed him quick enough where he didn't walk through that door, key card B will have dropped. And what you need to do is activate the first jumping puzzle to get over to the other side of the room and then take the ladder. The ladder will take you up to the banister where you just killed those two AI and that one further back will have dropped a key card with the letter B. Out of the two players who didn't pick up key card A will now be able to pick up key card B. Now for key card C, we want to immediately jump down and then take this grapple rope, but we need to pay attention because the moment that we ascend up to the top, there is going to be an AI directly in front of us on the opposite side of the room that you're going to need to kill before he walks off completely. As you can see here with the M4A1 and the thermal sight, it makes it incredibly easy to spot, but as you can see, he's slowly walking from one side to the other. If you don't kill him in time, he will not drop that third key card. But what you need to do then is to complete this second jumping puzzle to get over to the other side. And instead of opening the door, you're going to be taking a left and going up the ladder. Once you're up here, you're going to jump over onto this banister. And as you'll see there, the key card with the letter C will have been dropped. And the final player that hasn't carried a card yet will pick that up. And now you have all three key cards. You'll then want to go through the rest of the raid, going through this puzzle with the elevator zip lines and the fire, and then taking out all these AI in the tunnel until you get to the third and final jumping puzzle. You want to complete the jumping puzzle so you're here at the door for the next part of the raid, but rather than opening the door, you're going to go up this yellow ladder. And as you'll see, there is now a door here where each player can slide their key cards that's going to light up three lights. Once all three are lit, the door will open and there will be this really cool little passageway where it will lead to a sort of makeshift bunker where there's going to be a bunch of mattresses, a workshop, and right at the end is going to be a table where you'll be able to pick up a cast of 74U each, which will unlock the Beast Maker blueprint. And these cast offs all have that blueprint on them. So if we take a look with some light, you can see the detailing on this thing is actually really nice, a lot better than any reward we've had previously from the raids. And you can use it for the entirety of your raid episode two experience. And once you've completed it, you'll see the new reward unlocked for the Beast Beastmaker weapon blueprint. So let's take a look at the blueprint in the gunsmith. So as you can see here, Beastmaker, and it's a gorgeous looking blueprint. It's like a combination of gold camo and then royalty camo from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, if anyone remembers that. But let's equip this thing and let's take a look at the different attachments. As you can see, it has quite a few meta attachments with approaching advantage to the ammo capacity, the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. So we have the 45 round mag as well as a a grip, the muzzle stock and laser, which honestly make this a pretty meta build. You don't really need to change anything about this thing. If we take it in the firing range, so we can get a real good look at this thing. And you can see it is a gorgeous blueprint. This is so much better than what you ever got for completing the first raid episode where there was just no detail or anything to it. It's a really, really cool, unique looking blueprint. Like I mentioned, with those attachments, you can see it's got a lot of ammo and it doesn't really have a lot of recoil. It's honestly a build you could use in multiplayer 
or DMZ and I don't think you'll have many issues at all. I'm really happy with this blueprint reward. And once you've completed the raid, you can go to raid episode two in the menu. You'll see under your completion rewards at the bottom, classified is now ticked as that was the East Reg. So I hope you guys learned something new in this video. If you did, a like would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more guys. I'll catch you soon.